Let's try out everything we've learned with factoring to see if we can tackle uh, one more problem. And this one's quite large. This one involves an x minus 1 multiplied by a 2x minus 1, and all of that is equal to an x plus 1 squared. So it, it kind of looks like it might be quadratic. After all, I do have something squared in there. But I really have to get it equal to 0 first. And I need to factor it from there, so I'll actually have to do some multiplying before I actually get to that factoring process. I'm going to start over here on the left side. Let's go ahead and do some foiling, okay? So my first terms would be 2x squared. Outside, minus x. Inside, minus 2x. And my last terms, negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1. Over on the right side of this, this is the same as x plus 1 times x plus 1. So again, we're going to use FOIL to help us really spread this out. So our first terms on that side, x times x, x squared. Outside terms, x. Inside terms, x. And last terms, 1 times 1, 1. And now I have better freedom on uh, really combining things together. Let's combine together these x's and these x's. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. All equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. All right, now I can see that this is definitely quadratic. I got lots of x squareds. Uh, and I have a much better task of getting it all to one side and getting it equal to 0. Uh, I'm going to subtract an x squared from both sides. That will combine those ones. We'll subtract a 2x. And we'll subtract a 1. This will give us an x squared minus 5x. 0 equals... 0. And now this looks like a much nicer problem to solve. Uh, it even has a greatest common factor of x that I could take out from both of these terms. Okay, now I can take each of these factors and set them equal to 0. Looks like one of them's already solved for us, so we'll just leave that as it is. And the other one will add 5 to both sides. And then we will get our second solution that x must equal 5. Alright, not a bad process. So with some quadratics, you can factor them using many of the, the factoring techniques that you learned before. Remember to take each of those factors and set them equal to 0 so you can find your solutions. Thank you for watching Educator.com.